wanted to show you, I did get a few, not all of them, but I did get a few. I got this one. I believe the brunette is called Angelina. Um, I believe he is called Julian. And I'm not sure what her name is, but this is the side view. This is meant for right-handed. Now they do come in opposite um, mirroring sides. This one is a full face, of course. Now, I do have a Sally Ann Lynch board, several actually. Um, now these seem to be more narrow and longer, like you get more length. So I really do like these. Um, they're so beautiful. Now they come in this awesome packaging. It's really pretty. Of course, it's the logo of Svetlana. She's an amazing, incredible artist uh, known probably around the world. So these three I did get from sillyfarm.com and I'll put the link in the description. This one I got from Art Factory and as much as I adore and love Art Factory, unfortunately it came bent. Now is that excessive? No. Is it bothersome? Absolutely. It's completely irritating because these are high priced. They're $21 a piece. So um, that's also why I wanted to do the review. Um, to let you know and here they've written ben r i imagine that's for right-handed um i wanted them to be the same direction so i ordered them the same direction you don't have to this is really beautiful it it gives you the um complete set here and i'm sure in the future she'll have more all right so to the touch it feels like the stanley and lynch boards um it has that uh, texture you know what I'm talking about if you have any practice boards that are professional we're also going to be using this uh, Leanne Courtney's butterfly palette from fusion body art so I'm really adoring this palette um, I used it and I'll uh, add a photo here. I did this piece on my arm uh, with line work just to see if they all went together and it's such a beautiful combination um leanne courtney's um color combinations so we're going to be using that we've also got excuse the little cups here and we're, we're going to be using uh one of my stencils actually from my line um this one is a prototype so if you're interested in any of the stencils in my videos, uh, my shop is on Etsy, E-T-S-Y, and it's called Sparrow Stencil Supply. All together, no spaces, Sparrow like the bird, stencil supply. And you can find these and all sorts of other high quality stencils um, there. My stencils are durable, made to last. They are not dishwasher safe. Um, I've had a few artists kind of put them in there and they just end up horrible. So they can, cannot withstand, you know, four or 500 degree temperature. Absolutely not. So hand wash only. Uh, so we're going to try that one out because I am curious. And we'll also be using Fusion Body Arts. Uh, it's called Paraffin White. All right. So I'm loading my brush. This is a protege three quarter. <laughs> all right so what should we do what should we do um we're just gonna lay down color all right so i'm gonna come out come up towards the top of the forehead we're gonna do sort of a leaf shape here and then i'm going to you wouldn't do this in real life start at the edge here but um, I need to fill this part with color, so we're just gonna go like so. So here we've got really beautiful color. And I have to say that I'm pretty impressed with this board um, already. It's not watery. As you can see, it dried fairly quickly. Um, so it's not just running and my brush was really watery actually so we'll put that back and I think I think I want to fill the top of her eye so I'm gonna yeah, we're gonna do that there we go so it's all filled up 
So I'm gonna place her right here. Um, it's kind of, this one, this stencil I kind of meant to have it here. Like say you'd use any kind of crown, like an Elsa crown. Um, you could use maybe the top half, but anyhow, we're just gonna, I'm gonna line it up with her eye. And this is amazing because you can see through the stencil to her eye. So I know exactly where I wanna lay it. Now the key to stenciling, if uh, you're finding a struggle with it, is using two fingers to hold the stencil down and this one you're gonna you're gonna push down and keep keep all of that down now with the daubers i tend to pounce or um if i'm in a super hurry i just kind of rub it but that's if my i know my dauber doesn't have very much paint so um, here because this is a flat area i'm using the side lifting it and picking it up what a gorgeous transfer that is, if I do say so myself. So I'm going to do some line work here. Uh, where should we start? So always do... Well, that was pretty awesome. The paraffin to me feels a little more creamy. I may be wrong. Then we're going to do the bottom here. Swoop around grab some more and then we'll go one two <laughs> so like those. one two looks really great actually to be totally honest looks good to me uh, let's do some dots Just a few, just a few for fun. All right, so here we have a quick festival henna inspired little design. I'm gonna see, just out of curiosity, I'm gonna put some dots in that. And here we're just taking the little stencil design up another notch. I think it's kind of cool so pretty neat huh so I'm gonna set this one aside and then we're gonna do another piece and we're going to see how well this comes off if it doesn't stain so here's the final piece that's what the back looks like I really like it it feels um it's thin but it feels very very durable um, so there you have that we're gonna try another one Going to go around. Oh my goodness, those are gorgeous colors. Killing me here. Gorgeous colors. All right, Julian. <laughs> Sorry, I put pink, but it's just too beautiful. So, gonna do a little round shape there. Gonna push a little harder on my protege to get more color. So, this is just solely for fun here. I'm gonna push harder to get more color because we need more color on this one. So I'm kind of... I know I'm blending the colors, but I just... Perfect, that's what I wanted. Okay, now a tip I tell people that ask me about stenciling, when you're on the job and you're already using this, as you saw, I used it for my line work. Um, now the water that's already sitting in there, if it hasn't dried out, um, use your dauber directly on there. You don't have to spray anything else. Just use your dauber, okay? And that excess is going to be plenty. So we're going to do the Death Star. We'll go this way. Again, you see what I'm doing with my fingers? Planning two of them. Woo, that is an incredibly bright white. Holy moly. And I blended that into like a purpley blue color. Again, these stencils you can find at Sparrow Stencil Supply on Etsy. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay. Then we're going to do... I kind of don't want to do Chewy. Don't hate me for that. We're going to do Boba Fett, I think. But we're going to try another color just because I want to see. Rub back and forth. 
I hope that's enough, all right? We're experimenting here. All right, so we're gonna work on that part that I kind of messed up. Again, I'm planning the two fingers. And I'm dabbing, dabbing, dabbing. And the colors are gonna blend together. I already knew that was gonna happen, so not a big deal. Let's see what glitter looks like on there, huh? Do they have glitter in Star Wars? I don't know. <laughs> they do now. Oh, that's cute. Okay. So as you can see, all of this worked pretty well. If I had texture stencils with me, I would do um, over here on the side. We could do tribal maybe. I mean, I think it'll look. Let's see how it'll look. So I have been practicing my tribal. If you follow me on Facebook. Uh, Lily Santoya, L-I-L-Y. Um, I post there my tribal. So let's see what's one I've I've learned. Um, we could go. Let me think. Let me think. Let's see another one. Mm. So I purchased a book from sillyfarm.com and it's actually called Totally Tribal. Um, I believe Silly Farm on Faba TV, F-A-B-A TV. Um, they also have Jay Bautista who wrote the book Totally Tribal and he teaches you all about tribal. So I thought that was really neat. I'm not a subscriber of Faba TV. Uh, would I like to be? Absolutely. but. It kind of feels like there aren't enough hours in the day for me, so I can't really sit and watch. Um, so here we go, we just did some quick little tribal here. I'm going to, oh, we should add a star, shouldn't we? A star! All right. So now that we've got that down, we're going to set it aside and see how that one also wipes off. So we're going to bring her back. I think her name is Mia. You guys are welcome to comment and correct me if you like. <laughs> Let's spray with water. So that's what happens. Breaks apart pretty quickly. Oh, wow. Okay, you guys, um, that, <laughs> that was an authentic reaction there because that's highly impressive. So I'm impressed. Now here's the boy with my little mishmash of, I don't know what I did there. So I apologize. Um, didn't have a plan. Same thing. We're going to spritz him. Granted, we just painted this, but the blue and purple in the background has been sitting there. Here we go taking that baby wipe oh brilliant it came off immediately you guys immediately very impressive so that's my review so here we go that's julian this is mia and now there's no residue at all beautiful angelina and ben all right guys so thanks so much for watching i appreciate it and um hopefully you guys grab Grab one of these. So you can find Sparkling Faces um, at sillyfarm.com, at artfactory, shopglittertattoos.com, and or justpaint.com. J-E-S-T paint.com. Thank you guys.